94.3 TV at the Coastal Discovery Museum. It's a hip hop in time here and we're learning a lot about the creators of the area. And we're gonna be joining it with Mandy and Charlotte and they are gonna tell us a little bit about the turtles. Yes, so these are some of our local species. These are yellow bellied spiders and they're called that because they have their bright yellow belly here. And this is Fred and this is Pimento. <laughs> And these are both male turtles, and you can tell that because they have these really long fingernails. Okay, as opposed to the female, that's yes, a male? these are both okay. males, oh, yeah. Right. And they have these really long fingernails, and they'll wave their fingernails in the lady turtle's face to try to get a date with them. Wow, <laughs> how about that? And they also <laughs> have, it's kind of hard to see because he's pulling his tail in, but they also have thicker and longer tails than the females. Okay, so distinct differences between the male and female, just like humans, obviously, very neat. Yes. <laughs> and so what, tell us about the growth pattern, the length of time. Yeah, so and we'll start with the eggs because obviously this is a big deal around Hilton Head Island. It's sea turtle nesting season and they are ping pong. They look like yes. ping pong balls. Yeah, so mm -hmm. these are um, kind of mimic sea turtle eggs. They're the exact mm -hmm. same size and shape sea turtle eggs would be and that's about how many would be in a nest too. Oh, oh that's a lot. Yes, yeah, yeah it's mm -hmm. surprising that they can <laughs> lay yeah. that many. So out of these, so, you know, very few will actually potentially yes. make it to the shore and that's that's why there's the sea turtle nesting protection and all of that so once that the ones that grow they they make it they go to the shore tell us what happens in the life of a turtle from there well though um so sea turtles aren't fully my specialty but um yeah once they get to the shore they just try um to the ocean they just try their best to survive evade sure. predators and um they just kind of hang out in the ocean and mature until they're old enough to come to the beach and lay their eggs. <laughs> yeah. All right, what else do we have over here in your little cage? Yeah, so we have um, in here, this is an oak toad that's in our water dish. Okay. And um, this is the smallest species of toad we have here in South Carolina. So they're super cute. That's about as big as it'll get. <laughs> and then we have our green anole. I'm not sure where, oh, there it is. Right at the He's top. Kind of it's, disguised. Yeah, trying to blend oh, in. Oh, there he is. Oh my, yes. Okay. And those guys are um, super cool because they can change color based on their temperature or their mood or their health. So they change from green to brown. Uh -huh. And then we have our squirrel tree frog, which is very hidden. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's under that stick on top of the log. <laughs> Manny, thank you. We're going to move You're on welcome. over to the snakes now. Great. We have moved on to the snake exhibit here and why it is pulling out one of them here. Why don't tell us about the snake? This is Cornelia, the corn snake. They get their name from their underbelly. Looks like maize corn. They're very docile and they can grow to be like two to five feet long. Right now, she's pretty small because she's raised in captivity, but if she was out in the wild, she could be five feet long right now. Wow, and I noticed they kind of curl up. Tell us about the tendencies with that. So they curl up to try and feel secure. Okay. Like if they're spread out along a long area, it's just kind of more vulnerable to them. Yes, so, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Very smart. They're, they're, they're wired kind of like we are, you know, yeah. you kind of cuddle up just to be a little bit more secure. So tell us a little bit about why you chose this role. I know you're a high school student. You've been uh, born and raised here in the area, Bluffton. And what led you to get interested in this? Well, just people in my area, they would kill off good snakes and I just wanted to come out and educate the younger kids so they could not do the same. Well, let's educate our viewers because that is a concern. People aren't sure what is a venomous snake and what is a good snake or a not harmful snake. So let's kind of go over to this display. At least these aren't real, right? Yeah. And let's so, walk us through some of this. Right here, we have four native snakes. We have our scarlet king snake, coral snake, water moccasin slash cotton mouth, and then our black rat snake. Okay. The two in the middle right here are venomous. Oh, okay. Um, and most people will kill the scarlet king snake, which is actually great to have around because it will kill other snakes and eat them. So it's sort of the king of snakes. Well, um, being like they're both red with stripes, it can be a little confusing. So what would be an easy way for people to quickly know, oh, that's a good one, this is one that's not. So there's this old rhyme that people would say. So okay. red on yellow, kill a fellow. Red on ah. black, friend of Jack. Good one. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Yeah. So, so when you see this in the garden, just it might be a little alarming. Just let it go. Yeah, and coral snakes are also just very skittish creatures. They will never come after you, and okay. they're very reclusive. So most of the time, people don't run across them. They run across the scarlet king snake. Where do they tend to? As far as our area, where do you tend to find those? Very humid places, maybe like under a log. Okay. And then you'll see these ones like running across your yard. Gotcha. And what about these others? 
also water moccasin and our black rat snake. Um, to tell with these is the diamond shaped head. It has these big venom glands on the sides yes, of its head I as see. the black rat snake does not. Okay, so there's a lot to learn. We wish we had more time with you, but you've helped us a lot to learn about some of the snakes. So stay right here. We'll be back with more 843 TV.